Hey, what's up guys? This is Atreek here from uh, smartbytrainers.com and this is the Mac Mini 2018 model. Finally, after four years, Apple decided to upgrade the Mac Mini line and they came up with a new refresh design, better internals and more ports in the back and they all come with flash storage and they're all equipped with a quad core Intel 8th generation processor. Now, since Apple released the Mac Mini 2018 model, I got some questions if you can run Zwift in 4K on this Mac Mini. But before I get into any further in this video, this isn't gonna be a full in-depth review of the Mac Mini. I'm just gonna try to answer the question if you can run Zwift in 4K. And if you're not familiar with Zwift, Zwift is an application, it's a gaming application that we use, cyclists and athletes use to train indoors. So if you're a gamer, you might also be interested in knowing if, this, if you can run your game in 4K. So does it run Zwift in 4K? No, it does not. Sorry to disappoint you, but it does not. And you're not even gonna see that option in the Zwift menu. You are only gonna see the 1080p and it runs totally fine in 1080p. I thought it, was, it looked good. It runs just fine. And when I looked at the Zwift uh, log in the Zwift Elizer website, I was only getting 26 frames per second. That is far off from what you get when you have a dedicated gaming PC. You're getting 40, 60 frames per second with those ones. And comparing that to my Mac 2014 version, I was getting 20 frames per second on that one. So you're only looking at six frames per second average increase. That is pretty lame. Now Apple is marketing this as an entry level PC and you can get it for $800. And once you upgrade, and add all the other options, it can go all the way up to $4,000. The only thing that you can upgrade is the graphic card. They all, the $800 version and the $4,000 version, they all come with the same Intel UHD 680 card. I don't know why Apple went that out, especially now you can upgrade the Mac Pro book line, 15 inch line with the AMD Vega card. And people are reporting great results with that one. They're reporting up to 60% improved performance with the AMD Vega card. Now, whether Apple is gonna add that option later in, uh, with the Mac, in the Mac Mini line, I do not know, but for now, there is no upgrade option for the graphic card. And that is the one important thing that you need to be able to run Zwift in 4K or just get higher, better graphic performance out of this machine. So if you really wanna run Zwift in 4K and get that 4K experience, then your only other option is to get a gaming PC, a dedicated gaming PC. These usually run uh, for a good one around $1,000 or over or get an external GPU to hook it up to your Mac. And those usually run between $400 or $600. And actually the Mac OS X Mojave does have a very good support for external GPU. And those run perfectly fine and you will get to uh, be able to play games and experience uh, Zwift in 4K using those uh, external GPU. Uh, otherwise, I'm perfectly happy running it in 1080p. Apple TV runs just fine, simple, $470 very simple device to use and it runs just fine and the graphics are extremely good using the apple tv but if you run zwift on a mac or a pc let me know the configuration you have i would love to hear from you okay thanks for watching hit the like button remember to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one